Hey guys, Mary Ann here with Shopping Crafty. I got new headshots. So I went through a big process trying to decide where to go for headshots. I was thinking I wanted to invest more in these ones um, because in the past I've always gotten the headshots through acquaintances, friends of friends who don't actually do this full time as a living, um, who are usually like directors or actors or something else. Um, who are doing headshots for people to make extra money. Um, and they never turn out quite good enough to be considered professional headshots. And it's a weird technicality, like it's a weird thing. It's very specific science headshots apparently. It's really hard to get them right unless you know what you're doing. Um, but I did end up going with a friend and I think I made the right choice. So at first I was looking at a couple different places. One was one of my coworkers at the restaurant I work at, who I know has booked work on shows that I like and stuff like that. Um, I was going to use his headshot photographer because I figured he's booked stuff, so they must be decent quality. They must quali like they must be what counts as good headshots because I don't really know. Then I also was looking at the photographers that my manager recommended. One of them isn't even, like their business doesn't even have the same name anymore and it's just a girl who's doing it um, for pretty cheap. And I was like, oh wait, so it doesn't necessarily have to be a super expensive thing. Even my manager doesn't necessarily recommend the super expensive people. Um, it's just a matter of getting somebody who knows what they're doing. So, I am friends on Facebook with somebody that I acted in the movie A Better Place with, and he has started doing photography almost full time now. Um, he is a working actor, so once again, he, I mean, he doesn't necessarily work regularly, but he like books modeling jobs and stuff regularly, um, and so I figured he would know what good headshots are because he has been working. and. I've seen some of the photos he's posted online and I really like those as well. So I contacted him and I was able to get headshots for $200. And at first he said he would do a commercial and a theatrical look for $200. Of course when I get there we end up doing like four or five different looks. So I ended up with a great bunch of photos um, and it's awesome. I will put pictures at the end of this video so you can see them let me know what you think there's one where I'm like wearing this blue blazer with glasses and that was his idea but like they look kind of cute I don't know um, I don't know I sent them all to my manager and he never got back to me about them which was annoying um, so yesterday I finally just uploaded my favorites to a website and to the casting websites and I'll go in for a meeting soon um, and see what happens. Uh, see if he is okay with those ones or if I have to switch some of them out. Um, he's watching the other cat who's like trying to break out of the apartment right now. He's at the door trying to get the door knob. Um, sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, but I did post one of the headshots on Instagram and my manager actually commented on that like is that photo on casting breakdowns and I was like it was brand new today I will post it as soon as possible so I did that um, so I think I definitely made the right choice and I was able to get headshots for $200 and I definitely recommend if you're going to go the route I go, you have to be prepared to end up having to buy other headshots as well. That's happened to me before. I'll have somebody help me out, take a couple headshots, and they won't turn out well. And so over time you end up spending more money because you spend a bunch of people who don't charge much um, over time. You spend the same amount of money as if you just paid one person who's really good at it. But these shots turned out well, so I, I made the right call. Whew. So, I got headshots, uh, uh, and now I just should start saving for more. This is like, this is like Christmas, you know, it's not, getting new headshots is never an emergency. It's something that's going to come up at least every two years, if not 
earlier than that, so, eh, sinking funds. I'm, I'm really bad at sinking funds.